Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, I thought it'd be fun to do uh, some testing between uh, Final Cut Pro 10 uh, versus DaVinci Resolve. And uh, of course, this come back to a couple of uh, subscribers' um, comments um, and my own thoughts as well on, uh, you know, which one's faster. Um, of course, this is not a definitive or even scientific test. I tried to make it evenly as possible. And uh, we're going to be pitting uh, Final Cut Pro 10 version 10.3.4 with DaVinci Resolve 14. Um, now, both of them do support um, the um, 2015 Mac Pro using uh, dual D700 workstation graphic cards. And um, so both actually uh, do. Uh, I know in the DaVinci Resolve's user manual, it does specify that uh, it does use dual cards in that uh, machine. So um, we're going to do some uh, comparative testing and uh, see how it turns out. Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, first test. Uh, this is when, within, of course, DaVinci Resolve 14. And uh, we actually got a uh, clip in there right now, which is, uh, I think it's 56 or 58 seconds of ProRes um, and we did some basic color correction to it along with uh, a secondary grade. Uh, I don't want to uh, add any extra plugins or anything like that besides just basic color correction and color grading and uh, and we're actually going to go to the uh, delivery section and uh, we're going to render this out uh, MP4 uh, H.264 um, and uh, we're trying to keep it uh, pretty much the uh, the rendering with Final Cut Pro 10. Um, we actually restricted it to I think it was uh, 8,000. I can't remember if that's eight or 80,000. I can't see that number, but it's uh, pretty much what the um, Final Cut Pro 10 render is uh, set out as well. Um, so. We're going to go ahead and do, uh, render this out, uh, and we're also going to use a timer because I don't know if it actually gives me uh, the time uh, to render out. And then uh, we're going to stop screencasting because we want to get it as accurate as possible because we're screencasting while it's um, rendering, and then it may affect the uh, test as well. And when we come back, we'll give you uh, the results. So uh, we're going to go ahead and pause this real quick. Okay, we're uh, back. Uh, DaVinci Resolve uh, 14 just finished um, rendering it out, and I forgot to turn on the timer, but it does give completed uh, in two minutes and three seconds from uh, the job in the query list right here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, try this in uh, Final Cut Pro 10 and uh, see uh, the total that we get, and uh, we'll be back. Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, we're in Final Cut Pro 10 uh, with exactly this uh, same video file. Um, we didn't use any third-party plugins or anything like that. Um, we didn't turn out about background rendering because we wanted to use all the advantage of both programs to see what, you know, which is the fastest. And normally people would uh, use the enhanced um, you know, settings anyway. Um, so we did the uh, just the basic and um, color correction along with um, grading, uh, secondary grading, and that was it, just to make a good looking uh, video file. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and export this real quick, and uh, we're going to use the uh, MP4 1080p selection. And um, let me check out something really quick. Uh, using pretty much uh, the same export settings. We're going to go ahead and pause this and then we're going to um, do the test and then uh, tell you the results uh, real quick. So uh, we'll be back. We uh, just completed the uh, export test of Final Cut Pro 10 using the default settings um, that are very similar to uh, DaVinci Resolve 14 and uh, the, the export time on that was uh, a minute and six seconds and uh, as you can see that's uh, almost um, a minute or more uh, reduction in export time so 
Um, also, something I noticed as well during the um, export in um, DaVinci Resolve, it only used one uh, graphic card where uh, Final Cut Pro 10 uses two graphic cards, even though um, I, I'm positive that uh, DaVinci Resolve 14 does use um, both graphic cards. Uh, it can use up to two in the free version, and even then, uh, even prior versions, it still used uh, on the 2013 Mac Pro, uh, it, it does use both graphic cards. So uh, there's a very interesting test, and uh, thank you uh, for watching. Uh, coming back from the uh, final testing uh, between Final Cut Pro 10 and DaVinci Resolve, I'm um, going to go ahead and uh, te state the test scores as well, which is uh, we had DaVinci Resolve uh, final render time of 2 minutes and 3 seconds, and Final Cut Pro 10 at around a minute and six seconds. So, like I said, this is not uh, per se a very scientific, evenly spaced testing. Um, and just because one's faster than the other doesn't necessarily mean anything. Uh, for some users, uh, DaVinci Resolve is going to be more powerful because simply you have a lot more features than uh, that cover more of a wide range, range of things. And then uh, for some, Final Cut Pro 10 is going to be a better choice simply because this has faster performance um, and maybe a better editor because I consider DaVinci Resolve still kind of not quite up to par in some of the uh, uh, editing uh, portion, but it's far superior to Final Cut Pro 10 as far as um, color correction and grading, in, in my opinion. Um, so uh, give me your thoughts on the tests and... Uh, which one you use because those viewers comments really um, makes my job a lot easier because it has me stuff to talk about and videos to uh, produce. So uh, thanks.